Okay, before I start this video, I just wanna ask you one question. Do you live your life forcing people that you don't know to do things against their will and without their consent? And if you ever run across somebody who does that, what kind of person does that make them? This video is brought to you by the censorship hating crew over at Night Solar. This brand new ultra bright wireless flashlight with motion detectors makes it super easy to light up all the dark spots in your yard. You can install it anywhere because it's wireless and you never need to worry about buying batteries for it because it's solar powered with a high powered battery storage pack and freaking bright LED lights. Don't spend hundreds of dollars on floodlights. Go to nightsolar.com and get 52% off with free shipping. The link's in the description. Now we're gonna look at this CNN video. The title of it is, See Meeting Abruptly End After Turning Into Anti-Mask Protest. It has 357,000 views, was released 20 hours ago as of the recording of this video, has a stellar like to dislike ratio, 5.1 thousand likes to 478 dislikes, which means it's hovering at around a 91, 92% like ratio, like percentage. Uh, and we're gonna look at, it has, as of the recording of this video, it has 5.3 thousand comments. And we're gonna look at some of those comments in a second. The ones that I read, the first 10 or 15, are quite positive on what we're gonna take a look at. So watch this. That fiery meeting in Utah on mask mandates in schools. Here's more of what happened. This is the exact opposite of what we need to be doing. We are supposed to be physically distancing, Wearing masks. We have a motion. We are supposed to be. We are mandated to be socially distancing and wearing masks. And a lot of people view it as unacceptable for somebody who doesn't have a mask on to come around them because they take that as a threat to public health. And a second to continue this meeting to another date. All in favor say aye. Can we have this guy? Aye. Any okay, the meeting is adjourned. Up right now, uh, Tanner Ainge, the chairman of the Utah County Commission. You just saw him there uh, chairing that meeting. So, Tanner, you know, obviously, when uh, right, right before you started speaking there, you know, you look at that room and you kind of cringe just because, you know, my kids would say, uh, Mommy, wasn't was, that was done before coronavirus, right? Well, well no, obviously, uh, they wanted to make a point. It was a regularly scheduled meeting. Mommy, that was before coronavirus, right? Uh, please tell me that they're not sitting that close together without masks on during this pandemic. So Aaron Burnett's children and a lot of other children are being freaked out because they're being told that something is happening, that there's a pandemic. And so there's major fear sweeping across the land, not just in adults, but also in children because adults are teaching children, hey, this is what you should do. You need to follow orders. You need to follow what the politicians say. You need to follow what the law enforcers say. You need to follow what the governor says, what the uh, the congressmen and senators say. You just need to turn your mind off and just obey. They say we're in the middle of a pandemic. You need to just believe them. You need to believe Anthony Fauci. You need to believe Deborah Burks. You need to believe the COVID-19 task force. So Aaron Burnett's, so Aaron Burnett's children are living in fear mask policy itself was actually a last minute add to the agenda. When did it become clear to you that you had to shut it down, that it had just become too too ugly and rancorous? Really right when I walked into the meeting and then I saw this group that had come from a rally that was organized by one of the other commissioners, uh, it became clear that, that this just wasn't going to be safe. It wasn't going to be safe. It wasn't going to work. So after you... So what he's saying is, it's not going to work if you don't obey us. We can't have this city council meeting if you don't obey us. If you don't social distance and you don't wear masks like we say you should, then guess what? We're not playing this game. We're not going to play this game unless you play according to our rules. Who says? Did the meeting. I know uh, protesters went up to the podium one by one uh, for more than two hours to air their grievances about face masks. And according to the Salt Lake Tribune, and I, I quote uh, them, one of the moms grabbed a face mask and spit her gum out into it. It's garbage, she shrugged, wadding it up. It doesn't work anyway. Not for me and not for my... It doesn't work anyway. Guess what? And we saw this on the, on the outside of one of the boxes of the mask makers said that this does not guard against...
virus. It does not guard against, against COVID or any coronavirus. Think about that, guys. If there was anybody incentivized to tell you that masks work, it would be the mask makers. And the mask makers say right there on the box what this lady right here saying is saying. It's garbage, she shrugged, wadding it up. It doesn't work anyway. Show me, according to what the mask makers put on the outside of the box, how what this woman said was wrong. Kids, um, what else happened? And, and why do you think this is causing such emotional responses? Well, Aaron, I, I can't come on your show and let this be the introduction uh, to the country of Utah County. Um, you know, I wish that what would have gone viral was really what happened a few weeks ago when we had two fires and thousands of our citizens were evacuated. And I went to the command center and then I went to the temporary station that the Red Cross was managing and they pulled me. So basically he said he's saying he doesn't want this to be ex an example of cr across the country of what's going on in his county. What did those people do in, in his county? They exercised their freedom of speech and they took a stand against tyranny. And this guy is saying that the, that during this county commission meeting, he's kind of embarrassed that people took a stand for freedom. People took a stand for liberty. Basically, what these people in the audience were saying is, we would rather err on the side of freedom. What those, what these guys are saying is, we want to err on the side of you do what you're told. If you do what you're told, then we'll have the meeting. If you do what you're told, then we can open our businesses. If you do what you're told, then uh, we can we can get back the economy. We can get the economy roaring again sooner rather than later. If you do what you're told. All right, and they said, hey, uh, we need your help getting the word out with something. I said, what is it? Do we need supplies? And they said, no, that's it. We need you to tell people to stop donating because uh, people had, in the first night had donated more uh, food and water than they could handle. And, you know, we have two major universities here. We have a thriving economy and population. I've been to your town. I've been to your town. I've been, I've been to be, yes, I, I know what you're talking so about. And look, I want to be clear, what you're seeing in terms of that, that ugly meeting is happening in a lot of other places across this country that would say it doesn't define them. So I understand what you're saying. So according to Aaron Burnett and CNN and this guy right here, it's an ugly meeting if you disagree with the authorities. It's a it's an ugly meeting if you fail to comply. If you don't follow orders and do what we say, it's an ugly meeting. That's the, that's the message loud and clear. Saying, but but I'm just trying to understand from you why why you think it is causing such emotion. Well, look, I, I think I really want to look at the political leaders. That, that's at least what I know and who I can hold accountable. Um, you know, this meeting, I, I, my approach in this is when I see a political leader, I, I don't care if they're Democrat or Republican. What do, what do political leaders have to do with the way these people chose to respond to this face mask situ situation? They're grown adults. They can take responsibility for their own actions. This guy is saying, well, we need to look to politi political leaders. They are, after all, our political parents. They are our overlords. They have the authority to tell us what to do and not to do, where to go, what to wear, if we can open our businesses, that we should social distance, that we should submit to contact tracers. It's nonsense, guys. If they're following common sense and following the medical research, I'm, I'm slow to criticize and quick to follow and try to, we need to come together and solve these problems. But some, and, and we had one on our commission, who they see these as our- And they chalk wearing a mask up to common sense. They wanna bring the mandate to wear a mask into the arena of common sense when it doesn't actually belong there. Opportunities to pit even more of us against each other. And so there was a group, and so he really called for this rally, and I think he, he really pulled that group that had some frustration into this room and really fanned the flames of a fire that shouldn't have been burning in the first place because this really wasn't an issue that our commission should have been addressing. So anti-mask protesters also said, again, I'm quoting Salt Lake Tribune here, it's an act of submission to wear a mask. Jesus gives us a choice and mandates are against freedom. What do you say to get them to change their mind? Why would you want to change somebody's mind? A mandate is against freedom. A mandate, making somebody do something against their will and without their consent, is antithetical to liberty. That's just logic. These people don't even understand what they're talking about. This is mainstream media propaganda 
24 hours a day, seven days a week in your face? Well, again, this is this is a vast minority. I, I think that most of our residents, the overwhelming majority, are following. We need to do better, um, you know, because so far we have. Did you hear what he said? The majority are following. The majority are order followers, and we want good order followers. We reject dissenters. We want people who are going to go along to get along. We don't need somebody standing up going, "Hey, you're stepping on our freedoms here." The price of freedom is eternal vigilance, Thomas Jefferson said, and indifference to this notion is the means by which the people have and will secure their own oppression. Patrick Henry said, give me liberty or give me death. Don't give me mandates. Give me liberty or give me death. It's either one or the other. There's no middle ground here for people who love freedoms. We've done pretty well. We, we've been open and functioning, but uh, we've also had low utilization of our ICU beds in our hospitals. But like other Western states that you've been profiling, we are seeing that post Memorial Day surge. And so our governor has been out there. We're trying to encourage people to mask up. Our hospital administrators are doing the same. And, and I think for the most part, it's, it's working. Again, this was 100 people out of our 650,000 uh, in our county that were at this meeting. All right, so they want people to mask up. Here are a couple of the comments underneath this video. And you wonder why Canadians want to keep the borders closed. This is why. No amount of science, this person says, will ever persuade an idiot. So they believe science is on their side. Justice League, but with Karens. Karen League. The phrase only in America has never been so implacable. This one says, there's a lot of stupid people in this country like, wow. This one says, these are the same women who want to tell other women what they can and can't do with their bodies, but don't want anyone telling them to wear a mask. Such hypocrisy. Uh, th there's a little problem there. If you're talking about abortion, you're talking about people who are trying to protect the life of an unborn baby. A little bit different. That's apples and or oranges. As a U.S. expat living in Europe, I can personally attest to the fact that America is becoming a joke. This is why. Why? Because people won't submit to tyranny. I got to be real careful on my channel what, what I say about this, but I want to know what you guys think about this. Leave your thoughts about this for the world and the Google Thought Police in the comment section below. And if you want to support this channel, one of the best ways you can do that is give this video a like and share it with everybody you know everywhere you can on social media. It's the only way. And I'll tell you, it helps out a lot. It's the only way I can fight Silicon Valley censorship and the mainstream media propaganda machine. I'll see you guys in the next heavily censored shadow ban and now 100% demonetized video. We've seen some crazy crap happen in the past month that we never thought would happen in the United States of America. People fighting over toilet paper and disinfectant sprays, reports coming in from all over the place of empty store shelves, no meat, no chicken, no eggs, the rice is gone. The last thing you want to do is be in a store fighting over food with the rest of the lemon. But you can sidestep all that by going to my website, preparewithhighimpactflicks.com, where you can pick up a couple months worth of delicious, nutritious, 2,000 calorie a day food that can store for up to 25 years. The site is preparewithhighimpactflicks.com, and I'll throw that in the description and in the pinned comment for you. Never underestimate the power of stupid people in large crowds. It's better to have a food supply and not need it than to need it and not have it.